Acts chapter 9. Saul, who became Paul the Apostle, was a very powerful man. He was breathing out, verse 1, and Saul yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, meaning of the Christians, if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. He was a powerful and zealous man, and he was the enemy, the most powerful enemy of the Christians. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And now here's where Paul, where Saul becomes saved and becomes Paul the Apostle. And this is an amazing story. He didn't go out that day and said, I think I'll become a Christian. He didn't start saying, I have decided to follow Jesus. No, he didn't say that. He hadn't decided. He decided to kill Christians, round them up. Yeah, that's what he decided. And then one day, God came into the picture. And here we have it. Verse 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shone uh, round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Now, it must have been something when he came face to face with the Lord. Nothing very much made Paul the Apostle tremble. He made other people tremble. But nothing made him tremble much. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Verse 7, And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand, and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, couldn't see. And neither did he eat nor drink. He got saved. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and said unto him, and to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord, And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one named Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayeth. Yes, he's praying now. And hath seen a vision, a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. And Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he hath authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how much, how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and put, putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou comest, camest, has sent me that thou mayest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scaled, and he received 
sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Now I was thinking about Paul. He was not like the modern day preachers. It's another verse that says he came in fear and tremble, not in the wisdom of man, not, and not with the great a confidence that he had as an enemy of God. He came in fear and trembling. This was Saul the Apostle, Paul the Apostle. Saul, who became Paul the Apostle. Thank you for listening.